Look at what I have here. Is that another little swarm? Let's see. That looks like a swarm. I'll go get a box and set it on the ground and see if I can push them in. Okay, so I don't have any nukes that are unoccupied at the moment. Um, I do have a uh, setup for one full medium hive, or one deep hive, 10 frame. So, what I've done is that little cotton ball there has Swarm Commander on it, and I'm hoping it will lure them in. I also have a piece of newspaper that has beeswax melted on it. We just flew in there. Will you guys go check it out? Um, I'm hoping that will smell like, you know, honeycomb because it's all new frames. So there's no, I don't have readily available right this minute any frames that are drawn. So I've also taken my smoker and lit it and left it on its side upwind. And I give it a little puff every now and then, hoping that they'll go, ugh, there's a fire over there. Let's go away from the fire and, oh, look at this box. That smells good. Um, what I could do is I could get on my hands and knees and get down in there and see if I could find the queen. And if I find the queen, grab her in a clip. And then if I have the clip, put the clip inside the hive and then I'll pretty much have them. But I really, I'm only about 50-50 successful when I try to catch queens, or even when I try to see them for that matter. So I kind of lack confidence in that area and would prefer to not stir them up looking for the queen. But I don't, I'm not very, I am a very impatient person. So sitting here waiting on the bees to make up their mind if they're gonna try it or not, not something I really want to do. So, um, okay, I'm going to give them a couple more puffs of smoke, and then I'm going to walk away and go find a queen clip, go get a drink, and maybe leave them alone, and hopefully a march will start by then. And we'll see. I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit and see. I can't, I can't hardly see because it's so sunny. Where are they? They're right. here in the grass in the shade so right about there and then all the way up to the base of the box so there's the base there's the cotton ball they're right in front of the cotton ball so there's a cotton ball so they're right and right there. Oh, try it again. See? Yep, see him now? Mm -hmm. I can even see him. Okay, ladies. I've really made you a very nice condo. So, give it a try. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go get the queen. Okay, well, I left them alone for a little while and they didn't really go in the box, so. I tried grabbing a few by hand and shaking them into the box and it looks like maybe they're slightly interested. They're fanning. See how they have their butts up in the air? So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my hive tool and I'm going to push that in a little bit further and see what happens. Well, I hit the wrong button and I stopped filming. So I pushed them in the hive by hand and I just used the hive tool to um, push the cotton ball with the swarm commander in a little further.
I have my queen catcher, but the problem is this grass is so tall. And it looks like there's a little bit that's gone up here. If I lift the cover up under the inner cover there, I have the uh, newspaper that has honeycomb on it. So they kind of act like they want to go up in there too. So if I do this, I do that. Oh, I need it just a little bit further back. Okay, now let's see what happens. Oh, I gotta put this down, I'll be back. Okay, so I've propped the cover up a little bit of jar. The newspaper is right there underneath the inner cover. I have some clustering right here. this it's hot out and this hive tool is hot so they're saying hey we like it in here maybe if I can cool off this hive tool a little bit so it doesn't burn their feet absorb it on my skin I guess in my hand Get in there. Get in there. Uh. 